Good day everyone and hope you're doing well. This is Tim and this is a beautiful day in Vancouver with the sun out and the people out. And it's nice to be back after some travels, getting to visit the uh, gorgeous places in Vietnam and the amazing places in Japan as well. And we also made a trip to Montreal with good friend Albert. There we got to meet a new friend, a good friend Stevie, who took us around to different places in Montreal from the humongous Canadian style breakfasts to the Montreal eateries, including a buffet or two, and all the rich fatty foods in the best possible way, and crashing a birthday party as well. So uh, really great uh, folks there, and a special thanks to Stevie for uh, taking us around. So back home now, it's back to work, but not quite yet, because this is the weekend, and again, this gorgeous view here. And being that it's the weekend, I get a chance to explore and share all the great places to visit in Vancouver and more importantly, the great places to eat. Hopefully to entice you guys to uh, come pay uh, this great city a visit, uh, maybe for a vacation or so. And if you're from here or plan to visit and know of any interesting places to go that you'd like to see uh, visited, let me know and uh, hopefully we can uh, share those experiences together. And uh, recently, a lot of people have been asking where is a great buffet in Vancouver? Well, until recently, I couldn't really answer this question, but fortunately, the other night, in fact, yesterday night, good friend Nicole and I got a chance to visit one of the best buffets in Vancouver that just recently opened. Lots of food, lots of entertainment. And while we were dining, our host Alex mentioned that they also host a spectacular brunch that is not to be missed, and it's a brunch buffet. Unfortunately, no matter how much I tried to convince Nicole yesterday to come to brunch today, uh, she was not giving in. But I am here myself and really grateful that you can join me and we can have a great meal, a great buffet brunch together. So really grateful for that. And also really grateful to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Vessi is a Vancouver-based company right here in the West Coast that makes amazing waterproof breathable sneakers that are perfect when it's cold and wet outside. It keeps you nice and dry and when it's warm and hot outside like it is today, it will keep you cool and dry as well. And whether at home in Vancouver where it rains a lot or when traveling, they are my go-to sneakers because a sudden rainstorm isn't going to stop your exploratory adventures. And let me show you just how waterproof they are. Let me look for some water here, maybe not there, maybe right over there where I won't run the risk of falling in. All right, so this is gonna be pretty tricky here. I'm not gonna go for the big stream, but here is a little stream. So fully submerged and completely dry. So no more wet socks here and just trying to keep the balance. So give them a try, visit Vessi online and there you'll find many styles and colors to choose from. The one I was wearing is the everyday sneaker, very comfortable. And one of my favorites is the weekend sneakers, lots of cushioning and very comfortable. So you can walk all weekend and all through the week without any issues. And if you happen to miss one of their sales, Vessi was kind enough to offer a promotion. Just use code Tim Lee to save 15% off the purchase of your next pair of sneakers. That again, Vessi online. And the code is Tim Lee to save 15% off the purchase of your next pair of sneakers. And with all this walking, I think we are ready for a fantastic brunch buffet. We just have to walk a little bit more. It's right up over there. So I hope you're hungry. Uh, come on, let's go. We're almost there. It's at that white pointy thing up the head. Feels like deja vu, like we were just here yesterday. And it is quite bright and beautiful in the daytime. And while I like to get here early, while the buffet is nice and pristine, I think it has already begun. Ah, and it's like an old friend. Hey Alex, how are you? 
a long time no see, like almost 24 hours or less. It's not even been 24 hours, it's been about 18 or so. Well, I guess it's just myself. I couldn't convince Nicole to come after the dinner yesterday. That's All right, thank you. Thank you, Alex. This is wonderful. Tracy, thank you so much for the coffee. It's fantastic. Enjoy your Will do. So this is actually quite amazing. Not even having sat down and we have a cup of coffee and a little bit of cream is needed. A good morning to you. Mm. And I think we're going to get started on the buffet, but look at this fantastic dining room with all the people enjoying the food there. And it was great of Alex to situate me far away from the piano and close to this amazing view. So without further ado, uh, come on, let's check out the buffet. So it's certainly busy here with the hot food station, but I think we're going to head up to the appetizers. Hi, how are you? and a nice platter of shrimp. What a good start. And to the right, the desserts. And to the left, the bread. Can I help you? All right, let's check out the bread station. So normally I skip the bread, but that's okay. They have cheese as well. Although the croissants do look good. Maybe just one. And definitely some cheese. Some white, some cheddar, and some goat. Some nice meats, some ham, a little bit more. And for the remaining bread, we are gonna skip. So this is perfectly situated right adjacent is a salad and the appetizer station. And this is wonderful, some nice greens for decoration. Now that we have a base, let's see what we can add on top. See, we have some Caesar and a little summer salad. Fennel and citrus. And one of my favorites, the potato. Go for two. And then we have some beets and the greenest asparagus I've ever seen. So this is where the salmon used to be. That's okay, I saw everyone stocking up the uh, plates here because they are busy, but that's okay. We have shrimp next. So loving these. Let's get a couple next to the asparagus and a little lemon. And even before we get to move on, they are stocking up the salmon. Okay. Thank you so much. So really nice to see the hardworking folks here keeping the buffet all nice and stocked up. So a little bit of salmon or a lot next to the meats with a bit of cream cheese, a bit of capers and a bit of onions. So, so good so far. And on the other side, we have more salads, very refreshing. And then the fruits down the end, but I don't think there's any room because the plate's getting pretty full as it is. It is quite nice to see things being busy again. Uh, but it was like elbow to elbow trying to get the uh, the food here and you might have noticed something new on the plate here I couldn't resist passing by the hot food station the deep fried spring rolls called out to me and I just couldn't resist Cheers Hmm You know It's a good spring roll. It is vegetarian, but the veggies are cooked so nicely a little bit of crunch but nice and soft and a crispy shell very good I think I gotta go for that ginormous shrimp. Always nice to have a little bit of seafood for breakfast. Mm. Very nice. Wonderfully chilled, perfect texture, really good ingredients. Mm. Nice. A little bit of salmon and I did get some bread. So a little bit of cream cheese. Schmear. No bagels though. A little bit of salmon or more. Onions and capers. Cheers. Mm. Very good. 
capers are falling everywhere, but the smoked salmon is so nice and subtle. Little creaminess of the cream cheese. Perfect for breakfast or lunch or dinner. Cheers. Mm. I think that fennel salad looks pretty interesting. Little summery citrus and a little bit of greens. Mm. Perfect summer salad. That wonderful distinct flavor of fennel and the brightness of the citrus, very good. Mm. So, I'm going to finish up the first plate of appetizers. I know breads and salads, not what I'm used to, but that's okay because passing by the hot food station, we saw the roast and a salmon wellington. I can't wait to give this a try. So, we'll finish this up and I'll take you back. Cheers. So even with the bread and salad, I went light on the appetizers and it was quickly finished. Potato salad was perfectly done and even better with a bit of salmon. And I decided to combine some of the foods together with a croissant, making what they call a croissant sandwich. Wonderful crispy croissant and I just could not resist the corner piece. Nice and crunchy, but back with the sandwich a little bit of mortadella, a little bit of goat, cheese that is, and some spicy ham. And that was absolutely delicious. The fattiness of the mortadella, the spiciness of the capicolo, and that has primed our appetites for some main breakfast items. Come on, let's check them out. So nice to see that it's less busy here. All right, so time for some traditional breakfast items under a cloche. Let's check them out. Aha, so sausage and bacon, you can't go wrong. Crispy bacon. All right, that might be too much. And those are the hazards at a buffet, but look at these sausages. They are absolutely ginormous. I think one will do. Moving on under the mystery cloche, we have, oh, some eggs Benedict. Let's go for one. And I think we have something healthy here. Some pasta and some veggies that are running out and that is just as well. Moving on. Oh my goodness. That looks absolutely amazing. We have some West Coast halibut here. Halibut number one and halibut number two and the wonderful butter type sauce with a little bit more. It is bathing in butter. And this is pretty cool. New York steak. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. All right, so way at the back there, there looks to be a piece that's a little bit fatty. Steak number one, and of course, steak number two. Oh, and there is more. The spring rolls that I visited earlier, and I believe this is dim sum. A little empty, but lo and behold, thank you so much again. Welcome, enjoy. Oh, will do. Some fresh uh, shrimp dumplings from Dan. We'll go for one of these. Right here. And then moving on. Oh, some pork shell mai. Just one or two. Okay. And now we're talking, we have the omelet station. Good morning. Oh, can I get an omelet, please? Oh, let's see. Well, I remember yesterday they had a pasta station here. But uh, I think uh, this looks just as good. Can I get some, maybe some shrimp, some ham, cheese, oh, and salmon, and scallions. Oh. Thank you so much. All right, that is a nice looking omelet and I see a line for the carvery. So the meats and the salmon wellington look pretty good. Can I get a little bit of the lamb and the salmon? Leg of lamb. Oh, nice and pink. Oh, thank you. And this is interesting. Yes, please. Can I get like a two slices? Beautiful. Oh. 
Oh, thank you. Okay, and that is a big spoon. Right on the side. And a little bit of rosemary sauce with a lamb right on top. And that is my plate so far, all full. And because of the hot meat, we need to eat this right away. It's always fun to go through all the dishes at the buffet, take too much and get into a heap of trouble. But these are the problems I've loved to have. Might have bitten off more than I can chew, so to speak. But we certainly want to dive into the lamb before it gets cold. All right. And the nice thing is, the lamb is nice and fatty. Okay, that is a big, that is a big piece. Mm. That is actually very tender. And I was a little afraid by the looks of it. It looks a little bit dry but absolutely not. I think they cooked this for a long time and all the tendons and the striations of collagen has nicely melted. Very good. Mm. I can't wait to try that salmon wellington. A little bit of delicate rearrangement. And we see layers of puff pastry. I think this is duxel and some salmon. A lot of people have been asking, what is West Coast Canadian food? I guess this would be it. A little bit of hollandaise. Mm. Mm. Not is wonderful. Layers of pastry and seafood. And while the salmon is just on the verge of getting dry, we have the hollandaise to the rescue. Mm. Mm. I almost forgot my other plate of the New York strip and the halibut. I think it's time to cut into it. All right, so maybe the steak first. And it was nice. I got a fatty cut here or a fatty slice, and this is amazing. This is a butter knife, and it just goes through, well, how do they say, it? like butter? It's just so tender, I can tell this is gonna be really good. Mm. And it is so tender and juicy, grilled to perfection, and soft like butter. And that peppercorn sauce is something else. Cheers. Mm. So for our surf and turf, we have the turf. Let's go for the halibut. And there's always a risk of seafood drying out on a buffet, but not in this case. It is flaky and the fork barely just cuts into it and it barely holds really nice and tender. When you're here, go for the halibut, two, three or four because it is just cooked to perfection and the ladles of butter sauce doesn't hurt things either. Mm. Very good. And it is telling when bacon is the last thing on your mind, that is a sign of a good buffet. So I'm gonna finish this up and uh, take you to that wonderful display of desserts and hopefully it still looks as pristine as it was coming in. And a uh, really nice place here. I remember yesterday there was live entertainment, fantastic performers, and today uh, piano in the background. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy the meal without too much of a rush. Cheers. Round two certainly did me in and that was a lot of food. And it's saying something, as I said before, when bacon is lower on the priority from all the breakfast items. And speaking of breakfast items, that Eggs Benedict, I was afraid that it was gonna be overcooked, but my fears were ill-founded because that is a wonderful yolky Eggs Benedict. And I couldn't resist at the buffet when I saw the Singapore noodles, really nice. And I helped myself to a little bit of smoked salmon to top off that omelet. 
and to gild the lily, so to speak. A little bit of Bernays makes the perfect bite. So I don't think I can go for another plate of appetizers or mains. I think it's time for dessert. Come on, let's go. Uh, looking as good as ever. So I made the mistake of these yesterday and I think we'll go for some of those over here. My goodness, Dan is hard at work again and let's see. So this looks like just as it did yesterday. Some tarts, some brownies. Oh, and I remember this. This, I'm not sure what it is, but it was so good with the many layers of delicious goodness. If you can pick it up. All right, five minutes later, here we go. And let's see, some bread pudding. Oh, that's heavy and that looks really good. But I think we'll go for a donut. Oh, and I remember these, the panna cotta. They were absolutely delicious. Number one, and they were so good. We'll go for number two. And a little bit of jello, a little bit of chocolate mousse, and a lot of creme brulee. But I'm gonna skip the round creme brulee for something that's round as well, in the form of creme caramel. Okay. Oh, and more cakes. A okay, two layer cheesecake. And the traditional cheesecake on the side. And dessert cannot be complete without chocolate cake. And there it is. Right here. And to finish it off, a cookie. A cookie sandwich, that is. And that's as much as a plate can hold. Desserts are certainly impressive and again, might have gone overboard, but that's okay. Great problems to have. And I think I just need a little bit of coffee first because that was a lot of work. Cheers. Mm. So I think I got to dig in to one of those cakes. And this is one of the favorites that Nicole and I had yesterday. Let's see. Many layers of goodness. Mm. Very good. You can't really go wrong with chocolate, passion fruit, raspberry, mm. and a little bit of flan, nice and soft, mm. nice and caramelly, melts in the mouth, and I think for the flan to be even better, we can top it off or dip it in to a little bit of creme anglaise, mm. even better. And I remember one of my all-time favorites are these panna cotta, which I've doubled up because Nicole and I had double helpings of this yesterday. Let's dig in. So again, it barely holds its form. And it's a perfect consistency. This I know is good. Mm. And it's been validated. Absolutely the perfect texture and a little bit of fruit gives it some freshness. Mm. Very good. So this is the brunch at the Pan Pacific restaurant is Oceans 999. I guess a little bit more than 13. But it's Oceans 999. They have an evening buffet with the uh, fantastic entertainment. More pasta, a few interesting dishes as well. And Nicole and I enjoyed that. And the brunch, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And it's uh, that salmon wellington and the roasts were super tender and the steak fantastic so if you had to choose one or the other uh you can't go wrong with either but uh i did prefer the brunch uh very nice so thank you so much for joining me and uh especially when nicole can't because i think she's still recovering from the dinner so really grateful that the uh buffets in Vancouver are back and also a special thank you to Vessi for sponsoring this video uh, again Vessi is a west coast company in fact a Vancouver company that makes amazing waterproof breathable sneakers that keeps you warm when it's cold outside and keeps you cool when it's hot outside like it is now 
So give them a try. Visit Vessi online and there you'll find many styles and colors to choose from. From the everyday sneakers that I'm wearing to one of my favorites, the weekend sneakers that are comfortable with lots of cushioning. And you can find many new and exciting styles online and they ship to many countries. And if you happen to miss one of their sales, Messi was kind enough to offer a promotion. Just use code Tim Lee to save 15% off your next purchase. That again is Vessi online and use code Tim Lee to save 15% off the purchase of your next pair of sneakers. So with that, I think I need to dig into that cookie. And this certainly is not a small cookie. Mm. Very nice, nice and buttery. And did I mention it was huge. So again, thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well and traveling well. And if you're traveling, come to Vancouver. Uh, hopefully I'll get the video about uh, great places to visit and great places to eat in Vancouver. So uh, again, uh, hope you're keeping well, eating well and traveling well. Uh, until we see each other again, God bless. Cheers. Mm. Very nice.